Hi, I'm Chris from 3DMapper.com. Today, I'll show you how to make the surface texture of your 3D map more detailed and sharper, so it becomes more vibrant and looks good even when zoomed in. I'll also show you how to easily draw your own path on your 3D map. First, check the size of your map's original surface texture. Go to the 3D Mapper plugin in the WordPress backend. Open the map for editing and click the Upload Image button for the texture. This is the map's texture. It has a size of 1000 by 750 pixels, which is not very large. You can easily replace the default texture. Just download the high-res texture set of the map. Find it in your map purchases. Log into 3dmapper.com, go to the dashboard, your maps, purchases. Locate the map in the list and click the download button. In the exporter menu, select height map plus textures, choose high res, 8-bit, in the export options, and download the set. In the zip download, you'll find the height map and texture of your map at the highest available resolution. To edit the textures, you need to unpack them. To edit the textures, you can use a photo editing tool of your choice. I'll use the free app GIMP in this tutorial. Open the unpacked texture. You can see that the texture has much more detail than the original. With 2048 by 1636 pixels, it's more than twice the size of the original texture. But first, you can make the texture brighter and more contrasted. Go to the main menu, select Colors, and choose Levels. As each map texture is different, the settings may vary from this example. Okay, that looks good. Now, even more vibrant, select Colors again, then a Saturation. I think that looks great. The texture is still too large. To speed up map loading, you can scale the texture down. 1600 by 1200 pixels are entirely sufficient and will show much more detail than the previous texture. Next, you can save your new texture. I'll save it as a PNG file in this case. You can also save it as a JPG to reduce the texture's file size. Now, replace the map texture in the plugin by uploading the new texture to WordPress. Save the map to see the changes. Much better. It looks very good. The map now has vibrant colors and is significantly more detailed. Next, I want to show you how to quickly and easily draw a path on your map using the overlay image. The path should roughly start here in Silva Plana. Then it should wind up along here. And end at the summit of the mountain with the red flag. I'll also draw the path in GIMP. As on the 3D map, it should start here in Silva Plana. Go along here. and end here. First, I'll create a new layer so that the path is separate. Yellow-orange is a great color for my track. I'll choose a brush with a hard tip, about 5 or 6 pixels. That should work.
Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, darn. That was probably too far. I'll have to erase that. A bigger eraser would have been useful. Alright, let's continue. Not much further to the summit. I'll save the track now. The texture must be hidden, and only the track should be visible. I'll save the track as a PNG file with a transparent background. This is important so that the map's texture won't be covered later. To get the track onto the map, I'll switch back to the WordPress backend. I'm now uploading the track to the overlay image. Don't forget to save to see the change. Great. The track is on the map. That was quite simple. It was worth it. Compared to the beginning, the map looks much better now. Thank you for watching. Happy mapping!